What up everyone, Iron Wolf here. So I wanted to make this quick little video letting you guys know that the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition pop-up screens have been revealed. For those who's wondering what are pop-up screens, pop-up screens are these little loading screens that pop up as soon as you click on the game. Like for example, I'm going to click on GTA San Andreas as you guys can see. And as you can see, it has that little screen that pops up. So I'm going to click on GTA 3. Just to uh, show you guys. And there you guys go. Well, uh, the GTA Trilogy pop-up screens have been revealed. And this is what they look like for the new uh, Trilogy Edition. So, this is what the uh, GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition looks like. This is what the pop-up screen looks like, the little loaded screen. And as you guys can see, they basically changed up the details. So... Remember in the original loading screen, it was a yellow color, and behind her it showed the Vinewood sign, but now that's been replaced, and instead, it shows a plane flying across. So let me show you guys the original loading screen. So uh, this was the original loading screen, and as you guys can see, it has um, her on the side, the Vinewood um, sign in the background, and the color of the um, screen is like a yellowish brown color. And then you have the GTA San Andreas logo right there. So the details are basically changed up. So now sh um, she's not like far out like the original. Now she's like zoomed in. They zoomed her in. So she's like closer to the screen now. And then the GTA uh, San Andreas logo. Um, logo is right on the, the right side of the screen now and plus the background color is no longer a yellowish brown it's like green and then you have the plane so they removed the vinyl sign with a plane so that's how the san andreas um loading screen slash pop-up screen looks like for the de definitive edition now moving on with the GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. So this is what the pop-up slash uh, loading screen looks like for the GTA Trilogy the Definitive Edition for uh, Vice City. So as you guys can see, the um, background color is blue. I remember the original color was like kind of like a orange-ish sunset color. And let me go to the original loading screen as you guys can see. As you can see, it's like a um, orange, yellowish uh, sunset color, and it has the GTA um, Vice City logo right there. And then, as you can see, she's like zoomed um, out a bit, where you can see like the rest of her um, body, and her hair's like black, and uh, you know. And basically, in the new um, loading screen, they changed up the details, and also you can see. Hold on, let me go to it. As you can see, they changed up the details of her. The hair is different because the hair used to have been all black, but now they added like a uh, blue highlight color to her hair. And I think this looks a lot better than the original. That's my opinion. Um, some of you guys might not agree, but I think this new one looks amazing and also you could tell that it's a 4k higher resolution because you could tell that the picture looks brighter it looks higher resolution and basically that's what the new trilogy is all about it said that it's going to uh change up the graphics the graphical is going to um, get improved it's going to have graphical improvements higher resolution brighter um picture and brighter lighting and stuff like that so that so that basically makes sense why they made it a lot brighter like this to basically give that 4K look. But actually, um, I, I kind of like like the uh, new loading screen for this. So this is what the new loading screen looks like for the GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. Now let's go on to GTA 3. So this is what the GTA 3 loading screen looks like. So, as you guys can see, the details is a lot different compared to the original. And this is what the original used to look like. 
So uh, this was the original loading screen slash pop-up screen. And as you can see, she had a yellow jacket and then a yellow tank top and black trunks. And as you can see, the building was blue. So you didn't really get the full building. There wasn't much detail in this loading screen in the original. And that's what I didn't like about the GTA 3 loading screen is there was not much detail to it. Like, it was like half of the building and just the render of the character and the logo right there. But in the new loading screen, in the new loading screen, I love it a lot more because there's so much detail. And as you can see, um, there's like a lot of detail in the background. It's not like one building on the side. There's like a lot going on in the background and that's what I like. Because um, in the original, it was just the building that you can see. And it was like, the rest was all black, but now it's not all black anymore. It's like a lot of detail um, went into it. They went a lot of detail into this. And as you can see, the tank top is no longer uh, white. The jacket is no longer white. It's now a uh, pinkish red color. And now um, in this uh, render, she's holding the gun and, it, and the image looks a lot brighter. And that's what I like too. And also, as you can see, the logo is different. Because the original, it was the Grand Theft Auto 3. And the logo of the 3, the, Romo, uh, the Roman numerals, it was a white color. But now, they changed it to like uh, to match her um, jacket. It's like a uh, reddish pink color. But um, anyways, guys, um, let me know what you guys think of the new loading screens compared to the original. Are you guys um, going to miss the original? And uh, do you guys like the new, um, new loading screens? Let me know. But uh, anyways, guys, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below what you uh, thought of the new loading screens for the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. But anyways, guys, hope you guys liked the video. Comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.